Good afternoon, fans, and welcome to another Cape Elizabeth High School Boys Hockey live stream. Today, here at William B. True Ice Arena in Portland, the Capers host the Gorham Rams. Cape comes in at 3-0 in the early going, coming off a decisive 6-1 win on Saturday against Chevris Yarmouth. Gorham is 3-1 after shooting out to a 3-0 start before falling 3-2 in an intersectional matchup at Class A Lake Region Freiburg Oxford Hills on Tuesday. The Rams are certainly being tested by the schedule makers in the midst of a six game stretch of road games after opening their season on the big ice out at USM Arena. The Capers meanwhile have yet to play a game outside the familiar confines of the Troube. Starting in net this afternoon for the Capers will be number 30, senior Charlie Garvin. And in the opposite crease for the Rams, it will be senior, number one, Jasper Crane. Cape Elizabeth captains are number 12, senior forward Connor Goss, and number 17, senior defenseman Phil Coop. The alternates are number 14, senior defenseman Nick Laughlin, and number 24, senior forward Dimitri Coop. Gorham is captained by Jasper Crane, along with number 19, senior forward Jack Reedy, and number nine, Andrew Goudreau, who sees minutes at both forward and defense. Behind the bench for Cape is head coach Jake Rutt. He's assisted by Dane Walters and Joe Hetrick. Norm Rutt and Eli Babcock are the JV coaches. The athletic director is Jeff Thorak. Lisa Mims is the athletic trainer. Cape Elizabeth High School principal is John Springer. And the district superintendent is Chris Record. Gorham is under the direction of head coach Sean Sullivan. He is assisted by Chris Roop and Scott Nevers. Tim Spear is the athletic director, and the athletic trainer for the Rams is Natalie Hunt. As the tunes go, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Santa Claus is coming to town, and the Capers hope he's got another win to tuck under the tree so they can avoid a blue Christmas. So family, friends, alumni, sit back and settle in. Cape Elizabeth Hockey comes your way next. Elizabeth High School hockey would not be possible without the support of many generous local businesses who we'd like to recognize at this time, including Andy's Stump Grinding, Aquamation Services of Maine, Arctic Links, Bill Dodge Auto Group, Sea Salt Gourmet Market, Cape Dog Walking, Cape Integrative Health, Davy Tree Company, D&G Machine, Drynan Properties, Fleur de Lis Florists, High Tide Dental, Jordan's Farm, Legacy Properties, LP Murray, 
Lucas Tree Experts, Luke's Lobster, Maine Comprehensive Pain Management, Maine Orthodontics, Mainly Burgers, Markham Accountants and Advisors, None Such Books, North 43 Bistro, Northeast Event Design, Northern Light Mercy Hospital, Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery Associates, Ortho Access and Spectrum Management Services, Play It Again Sports, Rare Breed Veterinary Partners, Remax by the Bay and the David Banks team, Revision Energy, Sea Bags, Stuart Smith Photography, The Computer Place, The Knickerbocker Group, The Lumbery, Theron Poli Holistic Beauty, Toastones Cafe, Town and Shore Real Estate, Two Lights Dental, the Veterinary and Rehabilitation Center of Cape Elizabeth, and Willow's Pizza. Thank you once again to these fantastic sponsors. Our season would not be possible without your support, and we are forever grateful. So for today's opponent, the Gorham Rams, they are under new head coach, John Sullivan. Last season, the Rams were five and 14, but are off to a good start so far this season, as we said, at three and one. Players to watch for the Rams, senior Jack Reedy, along with fellow senior Andrew Goodrow. Also, senior forward Emmett Sullivan, who comes back from playing juniors last season. And Jasper Crane is always solid in between the pipes. Just under a minute left in the warm-ups. Just about ready for the player interactions. Starting on defense, number 17, Owen Douglas. Number nine. 
senior, Andrew Gaudreau. Number seven, junior, Corliss Ordway. Number 14, senior forward, Brady Alexander. And number one, senior, Jasper Crane in net. For your capers, starting at defense, senior, number 25, Luke Mello. Fellow defenseman, number 17, co-captain, Phil Coop. At center, senior captain, number 12, Connor Goss. At one wing, senior forward, Alex Thayer. At the other wing, senior forward, Sebastian Moon. And in net, making his first start of the season for the Capers, senior, number 30, Charlie Garvin. We'll now have the playing of the national anthem. And we're underway. Offsides. Faceoff will come in the neutral zone. Cape controls the draw. Back pass to Mello. Mello flicks it up and out of the zone. Am still not able to get it out. Goss keeps it into the blue line. Tangling for it. Thirteen fifty nine remaining in the first period. With it, looking to set it back up. Coop, back to Patterson. Patterson tried to fire it through. Blocked by number nineteen, Reedy. Rams pick it up in the neutral zone. Kate able to control and bring it out. Laughlin through the neutral zone into the attacking end. Up ahead to Hendisco. Just missed it. Back pass to Coop. Coop along the half boards to Thayer. Thayer back to Coop. Coop shot goes wide of Crane. Caper still handling it though. Moon along the near half boards. Back down in the near corner. Goss comes to Thayer. Takes it into the attack again. From the end boards. Gets tied up. Goss there to help. Puck still tied up along the boards. Finally, Rams come away with it. Unable to get it out, though. Moon picks it up. Leaves it for Mello. Mello skates it down. And this go no. Offsides. Puck had just squirted out of the zone. Understand we're having a little bit of a signal problem with our video feed. Weak Wi-Fi here at Troop today. We're going to throw. The throw. Tried to work it up ahead to Dugas. Now here come the Rams tacking back the other way. Battle for it in the corner. Cape comes away with it. Finally gets it out. Salzburg giving chase. Coming back the other way, the Rams. Landsman gets it at the near half boards. 
Goes down in the near corner. Rebound opportunity came out front. And there to put it home was number seven, Corliss Ordway. Gordon controls the draw. Back pass to Krause. Here comes Cape out of their own end. Coop loses the handle. Out. Here comes. Offsides on the capers. Sends it out of the zone. Won't have uh, enough on it to call the icing. Coop picks it up. Nifty stick work by Coop. Looks for the centering pass to Goss. Not able to get it to him. Goss, though, controls. Back over to the near point to Patterson. Patterson, not able to get a th shot through traffic. Back to Patterson at the near point. Shot goes wide of the net. Kept in by Laughlin at the far point. Now turn back over to the Rams. They're able to get it out of the zone. Centering pass out of the far corner. Just missed the outstretched stick of Schostet. Sends it in. She's over here. Hey, she's over here. Maybe. Trying to troubleshoot our uh,
All right, I think we've got our stream uh, issues figured out and the Wi-Fi reestablished reliably. So hopefully we'll have some more commentary uh, and play-by-play -play in period number two. But as of now, the team skate to the dressing rooms with Gorham with the one nothing advantage over the Capers. We'll be back in a minute.
Well, again, we appreciate everybody's patience there throughout the first period while we tried to get the video issues straightened out. Hopefully it wasn't uh, too much of an inconvenience there. Um, but uh, just like we appreciate your patience, also appreciate all these great businesses that support Cape Elizabeth High School boys hockey, and they include Willow's Pizza, the Veterinarian Rehabilitation Center of Cape Elizabeth, Two Lights Dental, Town and Shore Real Estate, Toastones Cafe, here in Poli Holistic Beauty, the Lumbery, the Knickerbocker Group, the Computer Place, Stuart Smith's Photography, Sea Bags, Revision Energy, Remax by the Bay and the David Banks team, Rare Breed Veterinary Partners, Played Again Sports, Ortho Access and Spectrum Management Services, Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery Associates. Northern Light Mercy Hospital, Northeast Event Design, North 43 Bistro, None Such Books, Markham Accountants and Advisors, Mainly Burgers, Maine Orthodontics, Maine Comprehensive Pain Management, Luke's Lobster, Lucas Tree Experts, LP Murray, Legacy Properties, Jordan's Farm, High Tide Dental, Fleur de Lis Florist, Drynan Properties, D&G Machine, Davy Tree Company, Cape Integrative Health, Cape Dog Walking, Sea Salt Gourmet Market, Bill Dodge Auto Group, Arctic Links, Aquamation Services of Maine, and Andy Stump Grinding. Thanks again to these outstanding businesses. We very much appreciate your support of Cape Boys Hockey. Zamboni's made its final pass. Referees are out of their dressing room and we just await the return of the two teams with about three minutes to go in the first intermission.
They come the referees back out onto the ice. Here come the Capers, led out by goalie Charlie Garvin and the Rams by Jasper Crane. Cape will be skating from left to right this period in their home white sweaters with the flaming black CE across their chest, trimmed in gold. Gorham wearing the road blacks with maroon accents and gray trim. We'll start second period play with the Rams holding the one nothing lead. Cape looking to get on the scoreboard. Unofficially in the first period, the shots on goal were 11 for Cape and four for Gorham. And we're underway. Faceoff squirts into the Gorham end. Picked up there by Reedy. He cycles it around from the far corner. Gorham brings it out. Picked up in the neutral zone by Cape though. Loses the handle down into the far near corner rather. Picked up by Coop. Coop skates it out of his own end. Hits Goss on the pass. Goss carries it into the offensive zone. His backhanded shot is covered by Crane. Nice initial rush there by the Capers. Goss not able to get too much onto that backhanded shot. Crane able to, able to handle it easily and we'll have a face off to his left. Capers with a late change. Dimitri Coop in the near corner. Brody Glidden there as well. Stepped in along the half boards by Laughlin. Laughlin's shot is gloved by Crane. Quick release there by Laughlin. Handled easily by Crane. 14.22 to go in the second period. Gorham now with a late change, matching lines. Cape initially controlled and then lost the handle on it. Back over to Gorham. Puck squirts all the way down into the Capers end. No icing, waved off by the refs. Carried out by Patterson. Patterson across center ice. He dumps it in. Puck cycles around into the near corner. Picked up by Reedy. Big hit delivered by Hanisco. Gaudreau, not able to be kept in. Laughlin fires it back in. Cape gets back on sides. Reedy from out of his own, or Gaudreau rather, from out of his own end. Turns it over to Laughlin at center ice. Laughlin hooked briefly. His shot is through and true! Nick Laughlin fought off a, what looked like a holding penalty against the Rams. Able to fight through that, get into the near circle. Shot was initially uh, stopped by Crane, but able to get through and trickled into the goal. Just like that, we're tied back up at one.
Picked up in the neutral zone by Goss. Goss skates it into the near circle. Looking to wrap it around. He gets it over to Coop now. Coop from the near circle. Glove by Crane. Face off will come to Crane's left. From the far corner, back out to the far point to Mello. Mello doesn't lose the shot. Pad saved by Crane. Cape still controls in the near corner. Now turns it back over to the Rams. Whitmore gets it out, but right back to Cape. Moon from the far left side into the far circle. Still with control, now loses it behind the net. Back the other way come the Rams. Ordway through the neutral zone. Gives Chase into the far corner. There to meet him is Mello and Thayer. Come back the other way with the Capers. Here's Goss. Coop picks it up and into the zone. Down the near side. Looking for the centering pass to Hanisco. Not able to put it home, but kept in for the high point by Laughlin. Laughlin shot deflected through traffic. Hanisco from the far circle. Comes to the near corner. Rams pick it up there. Whitmore still not able to get it out. Another blast from Laughlin from the near point. This time gloved by Crane. Again, the faceoff will come to Crane's left in the Ram zone. Brody Glidden stepping to the faceoff dot for the Capers. Opposite Emmett Sullivan. Cape comes away with it to the near point, Laughlin. Laughlin rips another shot. It is squeezed in between the pads by Crane. That was headed for the five hole and he was able to shut it down nicely there. We'll have another face off to Crane's left. Players falling down, Rams come away with it. Reedy. Skates it through the neutral zone. Garvin able to cover. Briefly lost control of the rebound there, but able to get it back and cover. Face off will come to Garvin's left. Bit of a false start there on the face off. Shot quickly off the faceoff, gloved by Garvin and held. Eleven forty remaining here in the second period. We're all tied up at one. Cape comes away with control. Thayer in the far corner, nifty move. Brings it out of his own end. Up ahead to Goss. Goss. Lost the handle as he screeded it through the slot. Gets it down low to Moon though. Moon from behind the Rams net, looking to center it. Circles, circles, stops. Bodied off the puck. Still fighting for it along the far boards though. Rams come away with it. Picked up at center ice by Laughlin. Laughlin flicks it into the offensive zone. There to get it is Douglas. Rams finally able to clear it out of the zone. Patterson retreats, leaves it for Laughlin. Laughlin works it up ahead to fresh skaters coming on for the Capers. That was Mansman along with Salzburg. Goss circles, still holds it. Cross the center ice. Poke checked away. Capers just able to stay on side. Goss looks for the streaking Salzburg, but he's not able to handle the pass. Kept in at the point by Laughlin though. Laughlin feeds it down to Mansman, not able to hold it. Here come the Rams back the other way. Patterson picks it up in his own end. Reverses it around to the near boards. Cape not able to get it out. Garvin leaves it for Patterson. Patterson from behind his net. 
Works it up ahead to Mansman. Mansman outlet pass out to Salzburg. Salzburg not able to control, turns it back over to the Rams. Offsides on the capers. Salzburg, nice interception of the pass, but Mansman had already advanced into the zone, so faceoff will come in the neutral zone with 9.57 remaining in the second period. Mello able to dump it into the zone. Panisco gives chase. Glidden into the near corner. Along the near half boards. Nice pass back to Dimitri Koop. Koop not able to get the shot off. Panisco gets to it first. He gets it back to Mello. Mello lets go of a shot from the far point. That's covered by Crane. Faceoff will come to Crane's right. Glidden and Ordway. Rams control, able to get it out of the zone. Coop in a foot race to get there. Beat Schulstedt. He controls. Nice flick pass to Hanisco. Hanisco gets it out of the zone. Coop in pursuit. Slam down, head first into the boards. Able to get right back up though, and tries to jam it home past Crane, unable to do it. Dimitri Coop ridden down hard in pursuit of that puck that was streaking to the end boards. Went head first into the boards, but quickly got back up and was able to get right back into the play. Tried to jam it home past Crane, but Crane was able to shut it down. Goss and Sullivan. Cape controls. Now back to the Rams, though. Rams able to skate it out. Pick it back up in the neutral zone. Held there by Moon. Rams back the other way. Entry pass from Reedy. Picks it up behind his net. Now comes to the near point. Gaudreau. Gaudreau fires through traffic. Nicely held by Garvin there. Tricky, tricky shot coming from the near point through traffic by Gaudreau. Rams win control off faceoff. Gaudreau into the near corner. His pass goes all the way across and out of the zone. Here comes the streaking capers. Oh, just missed on the centering pass to Moon. Breakaway opportunity the other way now. Patterson nicely bodied Gaudreau off the puck. And Garvin covers to slow things down and get a face off. Actually, that was Sullivan streaking ahead for the Rams where Patterson neutralized him. Rams control it, not able to get a shot off through traffic though. Turned back the other way by the Capers. Panisco dumps it in. Dimitri Koop giving chase in the near corner. Battling for it there. Still battling for it, still battling for it. Glidden now into the mix. Puck squirted free to the center. Nobody able to control it though. Finally the Rams come away with it. Allen. Now back the other way from Kraus. Finally, Rams skated out of their zone. After gaining the red line, dump it in. Panisco, though, gets it back out. Glidden picks it up, fought off the puck, fought off for by the Rams, though. Along the far half boards, picked up by Glidden. Now out of the zone, over to the near boards to Mansman. Mansman touch pass to Coop. Coop carries it into the zone, stopped short. Turns, was looking to center it. Nobody there though for the Capers. Puck comes the length of the ice the other direction though, and we'll have an icing on the Rams, which will bring the face off back down into their end. 7-12 remaining in the second period here. Still tie score, 1-1 between the Capers and the Rams.
Face off to Crane's right. Puck comes out to Laughlin in the high slot. He taps it back in. Rams controlling it briefly. Picked up behind the net. Salzburg tries to slam it home, not able to do so. Nice pad save by Crane. Puck comes out of the Rams end all the way down to the other end of the ice. Garvin gathers it there, leaves it for Patterson. Patterson not able to get it out of the zone. Shot from the near point goes high over the net and over Garvin's extended glove. Caper still not able to get it out. Manville turns it over to the Rams. Down low, right on the doorstep. Nice save by Garvin again by Garvin. Turned aside. Cape finally able to get it out of the zone. No icing. It's a foot race. Salzburg looking to get there before Gaudreau. He battles Gaudreau off the puck, but Gaudreau picks it up. Moon now at the far half boards. Stretch pass up ahead to Strolstedt. He had a clear shot on Garvin. Nice angle though. And the shot goes wide. Frantic up and down the ice action at both ends here. Rams able to clear it out. Another stretch pass this time, unable to be controlled by Whitmore. Carried back in though by the Rams into the attacking zone. Kept in at the high point by Gaudreau. That dangerous shot was tipped, almost tipped in by one of the Cape defenders, Patterson. Cape able to get it out of their zone. In the far corner in the Capers end, centering pass, deflected away by Cape. Picked up by Coop. Coop, cross center ice. Three on two opportunity here if they hurry. Coop from the left circles, tries to beat Thayer, not able to control it was Thayer. Still held in by Cape though. Goss circles back through the slot. From the right circle, his shot is deflected off Crane and up into the netting. Four fifty-six remaining in the second period. Faceoff will come in the Gorham end to Crane's left. Gosh, had a good look at it there. Deflected up off of Crane's blocker and up into the netting. Kept in by Cape. Off the near boards. Dumped in by Coop. His brother Dimitri there in the near corner. Dimitri still battling for it on the near boards. Coop skates it into the slot. Cape still able to keep it in. Coop from the far circle now. He lets go of a shot. Deflected off of Crane and now behind the net. Mello able to keep it in with a skate and poke checked by Coop. Now over to Hanisco. Hanisco not able to get much on that shot. Coop though from the right of the goal mouth. Finally, Gorham flicks it up ahead and they've got a streaking skater out ahead in Scholstedt. Garvin got way out of position there. Fortunate to not get burned on that. Capers control the draw. Laughlin not able to get it out though. Turn back over to the Rams. Skated in from the right side. Nicely shut down by Garvin. Wide open net and he was able to recover nicely. Still though, the Rams from the right circle. Nice blocker saved by Garvin. Capers able to get it out of the zone finally. Battled for in the neutral zone. Laughlin gains the red line and dumps it in. Hard off the end boards behind the Rams net. Goudreau looks ahead to Allen. Turned over from the near slot. Goss along the far half boards. He skates it down low, looking to center it. He's got Hellas out in front, unable to get it to him though. Puck comes around the far boards, kept in there by the Capers. Confusion as Thayer was skating to the bench for a change. 
penalty upcoming here on Patterson. Patterson got tangled up there with the advancing Gorham skater. And he'll spend two minutes in the box. So first power play opportunity of the game here. It goes to Gorham. 3.02 remaining in the second period. Score all tied up at one. Cape will go to the penalty kill. Gorham controls it at the far point, Gaudreau. Cape able to get it, pick it up. Streaking opportunity for Dimitri Coop. Cross the blue line, and he's fought off the puck. Slams into the goalie and the goal, which comes off its pins, forcing the whistle. He had some help with that, so skating to the Gorham penalty box will be Corliss Ordway, trying to prevent the breakaway opportunity there. So both teams will skate four on four for the next minute 41. After the draw, Gorham able to control. Turn back over to the Capers. Nice pass from Glidden over to Hanisco. Now to Mello. Mello skates it down low. Into the far corner. Covering for him is Glidden back at the far point. Still Mello battling for it along the far half boards. Puck squirts loose into the far corner. Skated behind the Rams net. All the way the length of the ice, and that'll be icing. A minute 12 remaining on the penalty to Patterson for the Capers. A minute 31 remaining on the penalty to Ordway for the Rams. The faceoff will come back down in the Rams end to Crane's left. 2.14 remaining in the period. Warham controls. Collings. Waits, waits. Goss applies some pressure. Sullivan, circles, now able to carry it out. Streaking Sullivan, not able to hold the puck, comes into the near corner. Laughlin meets him there. Now he brings it out of the capers end, cross center ice, into the attacking zone. His shot goes wide blocker side on Crane. Laughlin retreats, hits Goss right at the blue line. Goss skates into the slot. Unable to keep the shot on his forehand, though. Loses control. Worked off the puck by Gorham. Kept in by Cape. Over to the near boards. Laughlin picks it up at the near point. Skates it into the right circle. His shot goes high and wide over Crane's blocker side. All the way back down into the Capers end, where Coop will retreat to get it. 15 seconds remaining on the penalty to Patterson for the Capers. 30 seconds on the penalty to Ordway for the Rams. Cape gets it out of their zone. Glidden through the neutral zone. Kept in nicely at the point by Coop. He pauses, Patterson out of the box. Kate briefly with a power play opportunity here now. 15 seconds with the man advantage. Hanisco from the far point. Skates it in. Shot is gloved by Crane. Six seconds remaining on the man advantage for the Capers here. Maybe one last chance for a shot before the penalty releases for the Rams. And we've got just a tick over 48 seconds remaining on the game clock in the second period. Mello from the far point. Picked up along the near half boards by Coop. Reverse back down low to Glidden. Glidden loses the handle on it. Rams come away with it, not able to be kept in by Cape. Patterson and Mello both there for the Capers. Mello behind his net, up ahead to Patterson. Patterson not able, able to get it out though. Penisco now. 20 seconds left. Gorham controlling in the, in the offensive zone. Puck comes to Gaudreau at the near point. Through traffic. 
Initial glove stop made by Garvin. Rebound back to the Rams though, and they're able to tap it home with just 10 seconds left in the second period. Really good initial stop there by Garvin on the shot through traffic by Gaudreau. Not able to control the rebound though, and Gorham able to clean it up on the near side post. Hellas along the near boards. Turn back over to the Rams. Two seconds left. And the horn sounds. Both teams will head to their dressing rooms for the second intermission. Tough break there for the Capers in the final minute of the period. Gorham once again up by one, this time by a score of two to one. So we'll head to the second intermission and get ready to bring third period action to you in just a few minutes.
One more time, we want to thank the many sponsors that make our season possible. They include Andy's Stump Grinding, Aquamation Services of Maine, Aqu Arctic Links, Bill Dodge Auto Group, Sea Salt Gourmet Market, Cape Dog Walking, Cape Integrative Health, Davy Tree Company, D&G Machine, Drynan Properties, Fleur de Lis Florist, High Tide Dental, Jordan's Farm, Legacy Properties, LP Murray, Lucas Tree Experts, Luke's Lobster, Maine Comprehensive Pain Management, Maine Orthodontics, Maine Lee Burgers, Markham Accountants and Advisors, None Such Books, North 43 Bistro, Northeast Event Design, Northern Light Mercy Hospital, Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery Associates, Ortho Access and Spectrum Management Services, Played Against Sports, Rare Breed Veterinary Partners, Remax by the Bay and the David Banks team, Revision Energy, Sea Bags, Stuart Smith Photography, The Computer Place, The Niggerbacher Group, The Lumbery, Theron Poli Holistic Beauty, Toastones Cafe, Town and Shore Real Estate, Two Lights Dental, The Veterinary and Rehabilitation Center of Cape Elizabeth, and Willow's Pizza. Thank you so much to all these outstanding businesses. Our season would not be possible without your generous support, and we are grateful. As the Zamboni makes its last pass up the ice, we look up to the scoreboard and see, unofficially once again, 26 shots on goal for the game for the Capers, 13 for the Rams, so 15 in that second period for Cape against nine for the Rams in that period.
Here come the officials back out onto the ice. Both teams beginning to empty out of their dressing rooms. Crane leads the Rams back out. Followed by Garvin and the Capers. Both teams get the final instructions from the bench. Thayer, Dimitri Koop, Laughlin at forward. Glidden and Koop for the Capers. Laughlin stepping up into the offensive action. Coach Rutt looking to get something going on the offensive end. Kept in by Glidden. Now the Rams get it out. Turn back over to Coop though. Coop gains the zone. Stops and circles. Controls along the half boards. Comes out to Glidden at the near point. His shot. Tried to get sticked down by Coop. That's going to be a high sticking call on the Capers. So the high sticking will bring the face off back down into the capers end at Garvin's right. Capers come away with it after the draw. Coop skates it out. Cross center ice into the offensive zone. Gets to the far point to Glidden. Glidden back down low to Hanisco. Hanisco off the end boards. Circles, centering pass to Coop. Coop, not able to get it to him there, though. Intercepted by Reedy. Glidden picks it up behind his net. Up ahead off the half boards to Hanisco. Rams fire back in, though, from the neutral zone. Touch up for the offsides. Here comes Cape out of their own end. Hanisco up ahead to Moon. Moon off the far, far boards, dumps it into the zone. Cape will get a full line change. Warham circles behind their net. Ordway brings it out of his zone. Cross center ice with some speed from the left circle. Poke checked away nicely by Mello. Bodied up against the boards by Patterson. Puck comes loose, picked up in the far corner by Laughlin. Warham keeps it in the zone though. Patterson picks it up along the near half boards. Up ahead to Coop. Patterson again. Cross ice dangerously to Mello. Laughlin picks it up across center ice, carries it into the zone, still with the puck at his feet, loses the handle finally and back the other way. Garvin lets it pass for the icing.
13 minutes even remaining in the third period of play. Gorham with a two to one lead over Cape Elizabeth and headed to the box for the Capers is number 14, Nick Laughlin. So Gorham back to the man advantage. They control the draw. Cross ice pass comes to Allen. Allen in the near corner. Gets it back to Sullivan. Cape able to skate it out. Here comes Hanisco. Goss was going with him. Intercepted by Sullivan in the slot, though. Sullivan sets it up. Leaves it for Allen. Or Gaudreau, rather. Gaudreau up ahead to Reedy. Reedy stops short at the near far point. Tried to get it across to Rounds. Dangerous out in front, turned aside by Garvin. Cape not able to get it out yet though. Minute 13 remaining on the man advantage for the Rams. They pick it up, nicely sticked aside by Garvin. From the near corner, back to Gaudreau. Gaudreau through traffic, doesn't make it to the goal. Still held by the Rams though. Gaudreau at the far point. Nicely deflected by Goss. Bello trying to get it out, can't. Gaudreau holds it in. Cape needs to clear this zone and get a line change. Tired legs out there. Mello tries to get it out. Still held in by the Rams. Finally up and out by the Capers. They're able to make a change. 35 seconds remaining on the Gorham power play. Skating out of his own end is Ordway. Held there though by Dimitri Koop. Pinned in by the Capers. Nice four checking by Thayer. Harassing still. Finally, Ordway brings it out. Able to get it up ahead to Sullivan. Sullivan across the blue line. Waits, waits in the left circle. Finds Allen. Not able to get a good shot off though. Cape still having trouble clearing. Finally, Thayer does. Four seconds remaining on the penalty to the Capers. Penalty expires. Laughlin back out on the ice. And Crane holds it for a faceoff. 10.57 remaining in the third period. Rams two, Capers one. The faceoff will come in the Rams zone. Two, Cranes left. Cape keeps it in, Laughlin, shot from the right circle. Goes blocker side high on Crane. Kept in by the Capers. And Crane covers again. Face off will come to Crane's right this time. Controlled by the Capers. Laughlin tried to get a shot off, deflected aside. Held by Hanisco. Cross ice pass to Patterson. Patterson lets it rip from the near point, goes wide of the net. Held in by Mello along the far half boards. Down low to Laughlin. Got to get used to seeing Laughlin in the offensive action here. Kept in by Cape. Pinned along the end boards. Hanisco gets it back out to the near point to Patterson. Patterson, cross ice pass to Mello. Wasn't ready for it. Picks it up off the boards though from the far point. Turn back over to the Rams. Alexander crosses the blue line. His shot goes blocker side wide on Garvin. Puck shot into the Capers bench and then a big hit delivered right at the whistle you might say. Gorham fans not happy about it, but all it'll bring is a neutral zone faceoff with 9.56 left. After battle from the faceoff, Cape able to get it out of their zone. Patterson back in his end now, though. Cross ice pass to Coop. Coop looking for his brother Dimitri, unable to hit him. 
All the way down into the Rams end. High off the glass. Turned back in by the Capers. Rams get it out of their zone, but turn it back over to Cape in the neutral zone. Thayer initially gets it in, then flicked right back out by the Rams. Whitmore leaves it for Sullivan. Sullivan loses the handle, not able to get a shot off. Cape touches up, and the delayed penalty will be coming against the Capers for interference. Number 12, Connor Goss gets booked on the interference call. So again, the Capers will have to go to the penalty kill. 9.05 remaining in the third. Laughlin, out of the near corner. Cape sends it down the length of the ice. Pass Crane, he sticks it aside, leaves it for Gaudreau. Gaudreau, cross ice, back to Gaudreau behind his net. Up ahead to Sullivan. Sullivan gets it out of the zone up ahead to Ordway. Ordway stops short, fires it in to the near corner. Mellows there to get it. Off the glass, but not able to get it out. Sullivan keeps it in. Now Reedy skates it in from the half boards. Now into the near corner. Back to Allen. Puck squirts out of the zone. Gaudreau chases it back into the Rams' end. Fresh legs coming on for the Capers. Minute 20 remaining on the penalty to Goss. Rams patiently setting it up in their own end. Sullivan gets it out ahead to Ordway. Flicked into the Capers end. Mello meets him there. Dimitri Coop with a quick two on one opportunity. Rams defenders close quickly. No slashing call on that, hard to believe. Finally, the ref calls it. Trailing way behind the play. The referee that was right there didn't call anything. The ref that was trailing the play is the one that calls the penalty, but they did get the call right. That was a clear slash against Thayer. And so we'll be back even four on four for 47 seconds. Cape unable to control the draw. It's a foot race into the Capers end. Mello there first. Takes it behind his net. Reverses it back to Coop. Coop sets it up. Head to Glidden. Glidden cross center ice. He's got Dimitri Coop streaking down the center. Not able to get it to him. Worked off the puck. Another penalty coming up. Interference is the call against the Rams. Goes against Andrew Gaudreau. So with 7.29 remaining in the third period of play. An opportunity here for the Capers. Four on three opportunity for Cape for 24 seconds. Gorham controls it after the draw, though. Sends it all the way down ice on Garvin. He leaves it there for Coop. 15 seconds remaining in the man advantage for the Capers. Up ahead to Laughlin. Laughlin, nifty stick work, cross center ice, into the offensive zone. Stops, circles at the far point, flicks it across to Coop. Coop at the near point now, into the near left circle. Flicks it home! Nice net front presence for the Capers. Cape able to tie it up. I think they're gonna credit Philip Coop with that goal. He flicked it on net from the near circle and it was able to ricochet past Crane. Gorham coach Sean Sullivan is hot.
Referees in discussion over by the scoring box, but the goal does look like it will hold. So with 7.06 remaining in the third period of play, both teams are square at two. Timeout called. So when the timeout is complete and the teams skate back to center. When, uh, when the teams come back out to center ice, uh, it'll still be a minute and 37 on the penalty to Gaudreau. We're being told Coop's shot that landed in the net went off of one of the Gorham defenders. Initially, looked like Gorham coach Sean Sullivan was upset thinking there was a high stick on the capers for that, but the shot actually went off one of the Gorham defenders. Cape comes away with it after the faceoff. Streaking down the right side is Goss. Stick checked away by Crane. Trying to sort out what's going on here. There's a uh, player into the box for the Capers. I believe they've called a technical on Cape Elizabeth head coach Jake Grutt. So with that, Gorham and Cape will be skating four on four for the next minute and 25. Hoop to Goss, down low. Coop, unable to finish it and put it past Crane. Nicely defended there by the Rams goaltender. Six forty-five remaining in the third period. A minute sixteen on the penalty to the Rams. Gaudreau. Gorham comes away with it. Sends it all the way down the length of the ice. More icing. Faceoff will come back down into the Rams' end to Crane's right. Controlled by the Rams. Picked up at center ice by Coop. He get, gets it up to Goss. Goss leaves it for Dimitri Coop. Coop from. The left circle gets the rebound, not able to get a second shot off. First shot defended nicely by Crane. Kept in by the Capers though. Goss over to the right circle, circles. Cross ice pass to Coop. Coop from the near point, back down to the right circle to Goss. From the right circle. 
Puck still loose out in front. Kept in by Laughlin from the high slot. Pad saved by Crane. Rebound cleared out by the Rams. Covered finally by Crane. Twenty-eight seconds remaining on the penalty to Gorham's Gaudreau. A minute on the bench penalty for the Capers. Five fifty-seven remaining here in the third period. Picked up at center ice by Scholstedt. He tries to skate in on Garvin. Sticked aside there nicely by Garvin. Kept in though and now out though for the Rams. They'll retreat into their own end to get it. There's Reedy. All the way from his end line. Up to Skolset. Reedy at center ice. Flicks it into the offensive end. Hadn't yet gained the red line though and that'll be an icing call. So the Gorham penalty has released. So for 31 seconds, the Rams will have the man advantage and Cape will be on the penalty kill. Face off to Crane's left in the Rams end. Tied up on the face off dot. Finally, Gorham comes away with it. Fires it off the near boards. Up ahead to Reedy. He's neutralized by Laughlin. Laughlin whips it around the end boards. Picked up at center ice by Gaudreau. He tangles with the ref. Cross ice pass now, comes to Ordway. Ordway, cross center ice. Now into the attacking zone from the left circle. Stops, gets it down low to Allen. Allen, nice stick save by Garvin. Caper sent it down the length of the ice, penalty expires. off back in the capers end to Garvin's left. 4.51 remaining in the game. Gorham controls the draw. Sullivan flicks it into the slot. Kept at the high slot. Nice save by Garvin. Shot came in from the high slot by Gaudreau. Held nicely by Garvin. Squeezed against his chest to bring another face off. Hand pass is the call. Faceoff will come in the caper zone. Cape controls it after the draw. Mello up ahead to Hanisco. He can't get it out though. Finally, Thayer gets it out. Cross center ice. Glidden from the end board. Centering pass to Hanisco. Covered by Crane. An exciting finish here in this one. 4.17 remaining in the third period. Puck still in the Ram zone. Comes to Laughlin at the high point. His shot! Bar down! And in for the Capers! 
Another Laughlin blast from the point. Might have gotten tipped, but either way, bar down. Pass Crane into the net for Capers goal and the lead. So Cape with four minutes to go in the game, now back on top for the first time, three to two. Little pep in their step now as well. Mansman, centering pass to Coop, unable to get anything on it there though. He's ridden in hard to the boards. Goss comes away with it though. Back down low to Coop. Mansman trying to set up in front. Coop trying to get it to him. Goss picks it up behind the net. Over to the near side. Circles. Now leaves it for Coop. Coop in the far corner. Gets it back down to Goss. Cape still controlling in the Rams end. Time whittling down. Puck flipped up into the Capers end, where it's gathered by Laughlin. He stops behind his net, up ahead to Hanisco. He tipped it through the neutral zone, but that'll still be an icing. Two fifty on the clock in the third period. Face off back down to the Capers end to Garvin's right. Philip Coop comes away with it. And Cape able to get it out. Glidden up across center ice, down the left side. Gains the offensive zone. Takes it into the near corner, holds it. Back to Hanisco. Shot deflected off of Crane's pads. Still loose out in front, and Crane finally covers. Timeout called this time by the Rams. 2.32 left in the third period. Rams goalie Crane has seen a lot of shots, unofficially up on the board, showing 42 for the game against 18 for the Rams. Presumably on the Rams bench as they draw up the play here. Also talking about when Crane will come out of the net for the extra attacker. Rest whistle everybody back out onto the ice. Goss, Coop, Coop, Mello, and Mansman for the Capers. Buckle up, folks. Final 232 coming your way. Kept in by Mello at the near point nicely. Down low to Mansman. Mansman behind the goal. Not able to control. Sullivan turns it back over. Still kept in. Here come the Rams with a rush the other way. Coop neutralizes nicely. Picked up by Goss. Takes it behind his net. Over to the towards the coop. Cape not able to get it out though. Shot came in from Reedy from the right circle, kept in by the Rams. Crane still in his crease. All the way down for an icing. 151 remaining in the game.
Crane grabs his water bottle off the cage and skates to the bench. So empty net for Gorham and the extra attacker as the faceoff comes and the capers end to Garvin's left. Cape not able to get it out yet. Fired the length of the ice, gloved down by Gaudreau. Tied up in the neutral zone. Here comes Sullivan, he loses it. Glidden, cross center ice. His shot at the empty net goes wide. Knocked down by Gaudreau, a minute and 28 seconds remaining. Gorham not able to get it out of their own end yet. Turned over, oh, missed opportunity for Glidden there. Back through the neutral zone. Bought off the puck is Reedy. Centering pass, intercepted by the Capers. Sent the length of the ice for an icing. 105 remaining in the third period here. Cape clinging to a three to two lead. Gorham with an empty net and an extra attacker and the faceoff coming in the Capers end to Garvin's right. Love down by the Rams. Out of the zone though. Picked up at center ice by Gaudreau. Cross ice pass to Ordway. Ordway's pass deflected to the waiting stick of Mello. Glove down by Sullivan though. Turned over by the Capers in the offensive end. Here comes Allen from the right circle. He loses the handle on the puck. Turned back over to the Capers. Coop sends it back through the neutral zone. Just about 40 seconds remaining in play here. Alexander along the far boards. He's canceled by Coop. Coop. Takes it all the way behind his own net. Up high off the glass. Tipped out by Dimitri Koop. Up ahead to Goss. Goss gets it into the offensive yeah. zone and buries it into the empty net for the Capers and the Icer. Goss with a nifty flick from the left circle into the empty net. Gives the Capers the insurance goal they were looking for, and with 24.9 seconds on the clock, Cape with a commanding two goal lead. Love down by Scholstedt. Into the offensive zone. Picked up though by Philip Coop. Skated behind his net. Off the near boards to Nisco. Six seconds remaining. Three, two, one. And the horn sounds on another victory for the Capers. Wasn't the prettiest, but a nice comeback win for Cape. Final score of four to two. Definitely some things that they'll talk about from this one. But the W is what's most important as the team skate to center ice for the post-game handshake. So Cape stays unbeaten, moves to 4-0. Gorham with their second straight loss, drops to 3-2. This is the last game for the Capers ahead of the Christmas holiday. Next game will be on Friday, December 30th, a morning matchup against Thornton Academy at 9 o'clock here at True Vice Arena. So the final score for the final time from True Ice Arena in Portland, Cape 4, Gorham 2. Thanks everybody for tuning in. From all of us associated with Cape Elizabeth Boys Hockey, we wanna wish you and your families a Merry Christmas. We'll look forward to your next 
live stream broadcast of Cape Elizabeth Boys Hockey on Friday, December 30th. In the meantime, have a great day.